Welcome to HR Insights, where I simplify human resource concept. On today's episode, I'm going to be discussing a valuable skill for HR professionals or anyone interested in HR analytics. And I will be discussing how to create HR report using Excel. Yes, you heard me right. Excel. Excel is a powerful tool that can help to simplify HR data analysis and reporting. Whether you are a beginner or you want to enhance your Excel skill for HR report, you are in the right place. So let's get started. Before I jump into Excel to illustrate how to create HR report, let's quickly look at the basics of HR data collection. There are different sources of HR data within an organization, starting from the point of recruitment, onboarding, reward, training and development, performance evaluation, talent retention, up to the point of exit of the employees. These are different sources that can supply HR data for the purposes of reporting. In order to create meaningful HR report, you need accurate and well-organized HR data to do that. In order to create HR reports using Excel, you need to get familiar with data visualization options that are available within Excel. And this has to do with the common Excel chart for HR report. And these are the critical ones that you must be familiar with. Column and bar charts. Your column and bar chart within Excel is used for data comparison. So when you need to compare more than one data set, you could use either a column chart or a bar chart. Also, you have your line chart. Your line chart is used to show trend over time. When you are trying to look at your turnover rates, over a period of time, you can use your line chart to show that. When you're looking at an increasing trend over your recruitment cost over time, then your line chart is what you would use. Also, we have your pie chart. Your pie chart or your donut chart. This is used to show proportion. If you need to illustrate gender parity within the organization, for example, across different departments, then you'll be using your pie chart. If you need to look at different parts of your HR data that has to do with proportion, then your pie chart would be useful for your use. So let's jump into Excel to illustrate each of this uh, data visualization tool. Now, before I go into Excel, it's critical for you to download uh, the practice file that I'll be using for this particular illustration. You can find that in the video description below. So let's get into Excel right away. I want to believe you've downloaded the practice file now. So let's get familiar with the practice file before I start to do additional modification to the data. Now, getting familiar with your data is the very starting point. This particular data must have been downloaded from your HR software or might have been manually curated within the organization yourself. Then looking at this data set, I have 16 columns, basically, uh, that are for employee ID, employee name, uh, pay rate, uh, most likely per hour, position, department, date of birth, the age of the employee, the age group of the employee, the gender, the marriage. Talking about the age group of the employee, we're talking about the various uh, classification that we're talking about. Talking about age group between 16 to 26, Gen Z, between 27 to 43, millennials, 44 to 55, 58, Gen X, then 59 to 77, talking about the baby boomers. So all of that has been illustrated in this particular data set already. Now, in order for you to use this particular data set to create some simple Excel chart, talking about your workforce, age distribution, your gender distribution, uh, talking about maybe your performance score, maybe we want to illustrate because there's a performance score column here, maybe we want to illustrate that in form of a bell curve, or we also even want to look at the recruitment sources, where exactly are we getting employees from. All of these are the simple HR report that I'm going to be creating now. Before I create the HR report, I needed to quickly mention to you that some of the Excel skills that I'm going to be using to create this report using the Excel data sheet that you've downloaded, I'm going to be using filters and sorting. I'm going to be using Excel table. I'm going to be using pivot table. I'm going to be using pivot chart. If you need a refresher course on that, I have some videos which I'm going to be dropping in the video description below that you can actually watch 
I'll ask you continue just as a form of refresher. So let's get back into Excel now. So now this is the data set. This is the raw data set. And this is the process data set that I've created into an Excel table. And from here, you can easily see all the various parts of the table. You can see the employee ID. Uh, you can see the employee ID, employee name, pay rate, position. For the simple HR report I want to create is one. I want to do something on workforce age distribution and you can see that all the age group has been broken down into the various age classification talking about the various breakdown of generations baby boomers gen x millennials and your gen z so that is where i'm going to be starting from i'm going to be doing a quick workforce age distribution from the data set that i have already processed now and for me to be able to do that I'm going to be using pivot table and pivot chart to do that. And the first, the starting point is I would go to my table design. From there, you'll be able to see summarize with pivot table. That's where I'm going to start from. And summarizing pivot table means it's going to summarize the chart for easy data analysis. Once I click on summarize the pivot table, it brings up a table, uh, a chart, a display this way trying to pick from the table you're working with then it says new worksheet and all i need to do is to say okay and immediately i do that what you will notice is that it brings you this pivot pivot table uh, functionality you have your pivot table here and you have your pivot table fields what i want to do is to illustrate the workforce age distribution and all i need to do is to go to where my age distribution is and I put it that under rows. You notice it has gone to the main data and summarized everything as uh, the various age demographics that are there in terms of your baby boomers, Gen X, Gen Z, and millennials. What about the count? It, it gives you this total amount. Now you can see from here that the workforce head count is 310. So out of the entire 310, these are the age distribution that you have. Now, the next thing I will need to do is I will need to create this as a chart. Once I click on my pivot table all over again, then I'll go to pivot table analyze and I'll pick pivot charts. Then I'm going to be using a column chart for this illustration. I click on column chart. I center that that way. And all I need to do now is just to do some customization. I hide all field buttons on the charts. Then I can rename at will. Workforce age distribution. Then I had the taglines there and there you have it. So what you can see now is my workforce age distribution. Then I can easily import this into either PowerPoint or my Microsoft Word to be a data story around it talking about interpretation of this particular data all i've done is to visualize the data the next phase you'll be putting in your report is what does this tell to your management you can easily see from here that your millennials as you have the highest number of employees being millennials followed by gen x followed by baby boomers and followed by the gen z and you can actually draw insight from there so the first uh, chart i need to do is done and that is age now, the next thing I will now, I'll need to do is, the, let me look at the employment sources. So, I'll go back to my modified data sets. These are where the employment sources are. You can see from here that there are a lot of sources of employment. Uh, you can have from billboard to career and all of that. It's a handful of uh, different uh, sources. Now, what I need to do is that I want to be able to summarize those sources using a chart because I want to be able to report it in my recruitment report. And all I need to do is to go back, table design, summarize with pivot table. All of that functionality comes up and I say, okay, let it go into a new uh, table in itself. Then the next thing I need to do is to decide what do I want to summarize. And all I need to do is go to my pivot table fields and look for my employment source so i found my employment source i keep put that under uh, my columns and also under value so that summarizes you can see it's an unfold as a matter of fact i have uh, all this number of 
sources is about 22 sources. That's a lot to illustrate. What if I want to have my top five sources? All of that functionality is available. All I need to do now, for me to be able to do that, all I need to do is to come here, click and go to my sorting for uh, my filter functionality and you could see your top 10. Once I click on top 10, then I want top five. So I'll summarize this to top five. And what it does is to give me the top five sources. So what you're having on your screen now is your top five sources for recruitment. Now I can now illustrate this in using a chart. Then I go on uh, to my pivot chart. Then I can pick anyone I want to use. Since I've already used a bar chart, a column chart, Ella, let me use a bar chart for this. I'll click a bar chart. Click in there. Then I would do some customizations just to illustrate. I'll call this recruitment sources since that is what I want to illustrate using this chart. Now, what you will notice from here is that all the recruitment sources are in there and I can do some further customization just to be able to illustrate my data better. And what you will notice that I've done now is that you can easily see from here that uh, there are two sources that are giving, bringing the most employees uh, into this particular organization. We're looking at search engine and employee referrals. They are both at 31. Uh, then we have diversity job fair. We have monster.com and we have pay per click talking about your Google. So this gives you the, the top five sources for recruitment and this can get into uh, your HR report. Then I'll do one more and I'll this time around, I'm going to go into my data again and I'm going to look at your performance score. So performance scores has been illustrated in this particular data. There they are. The performance scores are there. The performance scores are there, meet expectation. And if I illustrate, you see, exceed, fully meet, needs improvement, and PIP. I want to illustrate that using a chart. Then let me go back into, uh, let me rename this as sources recruitment. Let me just call this recruitment. Go back into my data. Let me invoke my pivot chart all over again and click OK. And immediately I do that. All I need to do now is what I want to illustrate is my, I want to illustrate my performance score. So I bring my performance score there, summarizing to exceed, then how many employees are in that bracket. I have exceed 37, 243. This is in form of a table. I can turn this into a chart form. And for me to do that, I'll just click here, then I'll go to pivot chart. What I want to use, should I use, let me use a pie chart this time around, or let me find a way to illustrate this as a bell curve. So let me use my line chart just to give me a, a typical representation of a bell curve. And there you have it. Uh, I hide all field buttons on the charts. I'll take away the legend and I can call this performance scores. Now, what this tells you, this is almost, this is mirroring your bell curve. Not a perfect bell curve in itself, but it's actually mirroring your bell curve. What I've illustrated so far is the fact that you can actually create multiple HR reports. You can visualize your HR data using Excel, and that can be imported into your Microsoft Word or your Microsoft PowerPoint for your HR report to be able to draw insight from there. I want to believe you've learned one thing or the other and you found today's video useful. If you have, then you will find these videos useful as well. I'll see you in the next episode.